How's it going, everybody? New 100 Gex EP, Snake Eyes. Now, in my time listening to 100 Gex in the past, he's either made some of the songs that I like a lot, or some of the songs that I don't like at all. And I do hate that. What, what's the name of the song? Crap, it's his most popular song, and I hate that it's his most popular song, because it, it is one of the worst songs I've ever heard. And I know people will die on the hill of that song, but it's actually awful. Uh, Money Machine. That song, awful. Hand Crushed by Mallet is really good. I like that song. Uh, I, I like a lot of this, this, uh, is this a tape? I don't know. But Money Machine is god-awful. I'm sorry to anyone that defends that song. You, you, we all have rights to our opinions. I'm glad that you like it. But we got a new EP, three songs. It's like a mixtape or an EP. I'm not sure. What is it? What does it say? Uh, EP. Yeah, it's an EP. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's good. Hopefully this is the, 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 I don't know. Hopefully it's nice. Because whenever I do like an 100 Gex song, I like the, the experimentation when it's done good. But do not let that mistake you. Just because it's experimental doesn't mean it's inherently good. But like I said, when it's good, it's good. And so far, this is pretty rad. Didn't love that. But, but still listening. Because I do like the beat. Yeah, so, like, the rest of it's pretty nice. I just think the start was a little bit... I don't know. It's teetering on the line of, like, cringy, but I, it's kind of a good cringe. I don't know. It, it, what to see if the rest of the song goes, because the production is making up for a little bit of those lines. <laughs> I I don't know. I kind of like it though. I kind of like it. I kinda, it is it is inherently pretty edgy because this is kind of a hundred gex. But I think this one this is gonna be one that I like. I think I think I'll listen to this a lot. You know, it kind of reminds me of some like you know some some two thousands some two thousand ten rock or like I don't know some some shit that I listened to in middle school, bro. Except the production is just way different. Yeah, this this one's gonna draw me for sure. Because like the production is goaded in this song. Hmm. Yeah. No. I, I'm I'm a fan of that one. I'm a fan of that one. I'm kind of surprised after the first half that I'm a fan of that one. But hey, next we got torture me. Uh, visualizer. So this should be this should be cool. Okay, this is what I was expecting as well, because he- I actually like a lot of these, like, emo tracks where he does this vibe. With this, like, not- I don't know, it's like autotune fried almost. Or, I don't know how they do it. Either they sing off pitch on purpose to get this, like, very, very, very autotune-y effect, or there's just, like, fried in autotune on autotune on autotune. I don't know how they do it. Maybe it's some other combination or some shit. But I kind of like when he does that. Uh, in, in some songs, and this has Skrillex in it, so yeah, this should be this should be good. Yeah, I'm fucking with this so far. See, this this purely is what gets me got, got me in a hyper pop. The fucking beats at times, bro. Like the, it's so a lot of times it's fun, fucking playful. I, at first, I got into hyperpop through artists that were more beat than 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 words, but would still have some. But then I found people like 100 Gags, Brankets, um, Blade, you know, th those motherfuckers, and and more obviously that you know are obviously like kind of these emo pop ish people first on top of these hyperpop productions. Or Glaive, Glaive is probably my favorite to be honest. I I, I fuck with Glaive a lot. So yeah, th th this shit sounds sounds hard so far. <laughs> I want to make a hyper pop fucking tape, bro. It's the production seems so fun. Here's a little deep pitch layer thingy. With this. That was just the perfect little slide in, slide out. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too, you know, he wasn't trying to do too much. That that was nice. I like that. Sure, it could have ran longer, but. I think for this side of song. Ooh! You. Yeah, 
Oh! Oh! Oh fucking K. Okay, that's the best song so far. We only got one more, but like, that was really good. Torture Me featuring Skrillex. Banger. Kind of do wish it was longer though, but I am used to these songs being like a minute and a half, two minutes. Last one. Speaking of, it's two and a half minutes. That's long as fuck. Uh, Runaway, 100x. Let's see, will it be the best on the album? Will it be the worst or will it just be in the middle? Who knows? Or the EP, my bad. Okay, I'm listening. God damn it, YouTube doesn't want me to be listening. Okay, a little build up. Oh, okay, I like how, how it's the, the vocals sounded on faster and faster. That was, I don't know what, 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 what that, that was. Ugh. It was like, ooh. Is there a new break in out right now? Maybe I'll check it out tomorrow's stream. I don't know. Sorry, random shower thought. Ooh. Yeah. I fuck with this a lot. This shit makes me want to like crack my skull against the wall in a good way. Hey! Some people might not like those, but I like that almost like hysterical, almost crying vocal. They do a lot like this emo-ish rap, like, you know, Shinigami, Lil Lotus, those type of artists and shit, like Family Pet, even though, reps some piece to Family Pet because they broke it up, but still goaded. Uh, they got me into the emo rap sphere. And I know emo rap and hyper pop aren't the same, but they do cross over a lot, kind of, in my opinion. Uh, just the production is a lot more in hyper pop for sure and not to be confused with like the the mainstream emo rap which is like juice world and x and shit like that which is still cool uh i guess i guess with 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 the emo rap that i'm thinking of it's more like lo-fi pop almost you know i don't know i don't know but th i like that type of vocal like this where he's like ah, fucking, ah. bro i'm very happy we checked this out i kind of wish the ep was on only three songs because this like as a project is solid. One of the most most solid in my opinion. Wow. YouTube, don't do this to me. Don't go to the next thing. This this song's not even out yet. It premieres in eight hours. YouTube, calm down. It won't even let me exit. YouTube, what are you doing, man? God damn it! The escape button. I need the escape button. Oh god. Uh. uh escape. Escape. There we go. I've escaped. Oh god. Oh. I haven't truly escaped yet. I just want to go to 100 Gex's fucking profile, man. I just wanted to make sure that I'm subscribed. And it seems that I am. Yeah, I can't pick a favorite on that, actually. They're all pretty pretty solid. I think the intro is probably the worst, but it wasn't bad. It was not as good as the other two. Torch Me was really solid. That last one was good, though. That was really nice. So, I don't know. But shout out to 100 Gex. I liked Snake Eyes. So, yeah. Uh, hell yeah.